Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Ben Spires with XPS Northeast Production Team. Today we'll be reviewing how to set up a Fiery Hot Folder. You'll want to begin by opening up Command Workstation and opening up the Device Center under the Server tab. We'll check out the job presets to be sure that all of our settings are correct for our step and repeat template. Once I've verified my template settings to be correct, I'll minimize Command Workstation and open up Fiery Hot Folder Console. We'll go ahead and give the Hot Folder a friendly name. And as an optional step, you can add a brief description here. I like to do this for extra clarity. And then we're just gonna select where the hot folder resides. Now in this case, I want it to be locally on the desktop. Then we'll go ahead and select which Fiery server we want the hot folder to be connected to. I'll go ahead and select my versant. Now in this hot folder, I want these jobs to print one set and then be available to be printed again. So I'm gonna go ahead and select print and hold for my job action. And for my job properties, I'll select step and repeat. This is the job preset that we had selected and verified earlier on in this video. Now you'll see my hot folder is set up and ready to be used. I'm going to go ahead and take my file and just drag it right on top of the hot folder and release. You'll see here that simultaneously in the background our job is being processed and sent to the print queue. Now that your setup is complete, your new hot folder will help to save time, automate repetitive tasks, and help to eliminate those errors. My name is Ben Spires. Thanks for stopping by to learn with me today. I'll catch you the next time.